It's Sunday the 8th of April and we're here at the Salty Dog down on the beach in Torquay and we're just about to head off. We're going up to Nelson Bay in New South Wales uh, this week to do a bit of a, just having a bit of a road trip and a drive around and uh, see what happens. So uh, let's have a cup of coffee at the Salty Dog and then head off and uh, see what happens on the road. Road trip. Okay. Well, we're just heading north of Melbourne at the moment, heading up the Hume Highway to uh, Albury for our stop tonight. And uh, it's, a, um, it's a beautiful day out here in uh, central Victoria. We I mean, have a look at up there at that scenery out the front. Doesn't get much better than that. Speedo is just about to click over 500,000 Ks. It's actually on 49934. So we're about 60 Ks off the half million mark. So we'll stop somewhere when it happens on the road and uh, do a bit of filming of that because uh, that's a, a landmark mileage for the bullet. I'll just say before that uh, I wonder where this car will be when it clicks over a million Ks. Who knows? <laughs> We're just coming into a little town. It's off the Hume High. It's called Talarook. And uh, if you have a look at the signpost right there, there it is there. I have, uh, I have fond memories of Talarook. My cousins used to live here and we often used to come here. And this is the Hume Highway, the old original Hume Highway we're on. And uh, yeah, trucks used to barrel up and down here. There was a lot of accidents. and. Uh, when they divided the road it was uh, a good thing so it's quite a sleepy little town population of maybe 100 200 people but I, I quite often stop here there's a little cafe down the road here and they have a uh, iced coffee or a coffee so there you have this main little street sleepy little village of Talarook on the left here is the town hall which incidentally burnt down about two weeks later and we'll just pull up here at the, the little cafe this is the general store in Talarook where I often stop and get a bite on my way through so uh, we'll go in and say g'day all right the Talarook Hotel uh, my cousins used to live about two doors up there and my uncle Len used to have quite a regular spot here at the bar. Found this place called Howie's Junction and uh, got an old Ford park out the front here. Let's go in and have a look. This sounds really interesting. Come on. And have a look at that. Got a Holden V6 in it. doesn't get much better than that. Let's go in and find uh, the owner. Buddy's had a hard life. Buddy, Buddy's Buddy. a road crash victim. A road crash yes. victim. He looks beautiful. A crash test dummy. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> hey, listen. What have you got here? Oh, we've got. We're a, We've got a junction. Where are you guys from? Uh, Torquay. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Lovely day for a drive. Actually, we're just going. We're on a road trip. I used to come here as a kid. My uncle and cousins live right across the road in that I actually see their house through the window there that's where my cousins used to live and I used to come here on school holidays all right I'm going to ask you did they have electricity in that house back then yes because they don't now let's have a look at what else you got let's have a look well my husband's in here making some bits and pieces for the shop come into the inner sanctum this is my husband Roger how are you Hello, Roger. Brendan. Hey, Brendan. How are you? All good. Hello. <laughs> Great to meet you. We were just lobbing by and we saw your little uh, ute parked out the front oh, yeah, yeah, there yeah. and thought, Junction. Yeah. So, yeah, we're just making a metal sculpture out of recycled stuff. So, the original name was Howes Junction Hotel. And when I processed the name for the business, 
because I used to refer to it at how as Howie's, that's what I processed. Well, when you leave, have a look at the front gate and yep. see what letter keeps popping off the gate. Popping off the gate. We've welded it three <laughs> times. What letter? That? The I. I. So yeah. it just says Howes instead so it of Howes. Howes. instead of Howie's. <laughs> and you've welded it on and no, it yeah. jumped it's, it's the only letter that pops off. Yeah. So it's actually, yeah, it's, actually, it's sitting by the post. It's pretty, it's as deep underground as you can see at the That's top. a well. Yeah. So, um, the mulberry tree is actually heritage listed and we've got original photos of when it was a tiny little bush. Wow. Yeah, and it still fruits, it's just finished every year. It's magnificent. You're not allowed to chop it down. I would never want to. We actually got married under that tree. Really? Yeah. Here? Yeah. We're going into the morgue. <laughs> <laughs> you might not come out. You can't really get in oh, here. Wow. But this was the morgue. The um. This was really the morgue. Back in the day, it was such a big town, and there was the rail such junction. So the owner's son was a JP, and if ever there was a death, he would have to go out and do his thing and he would claim the body and bring it back here. Oh. So we have doors that shut out here that are pulled out of your hand and there's nothing on the back. Yes. Well, it becomes a bit of a joke. Yeah. You know, everyone, oh, Julia, what are you doing? Yeah. 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 Oh, it's great. Great to, great place to live. So this is the hot rod house. There's nothing in here at the really That's moment. where the hot rod lives. Yes, apart from more junk. Oh, but all of this was made out of recycled timbers to ride her horse from Melbourne to Sydney. Yep. And she had her diary and she had the excerpt, the copy of the excerpt of where George Howe, who was the JP, the son, had signed that she'd stayed here. So we're famous. Wow. And we were the only building still standing. She'd come all the way from Seaford and we were the only building still standing. So she was so excited. But we've had people come in that have lived here, out in the stables yeah. as a boy, and their parents ran it as a, a cafe. Wow. It's been it's been a brothel. Can a brothel. I say that again? That really came a out wrong. A brothel. A brothel. <laughs> it's been a brothel. <laughs> Who <laughs> knows? It's fantastic. It's been pretty much everything. So the cellar just goes to the, the first internal wall. This was the old bar above. I'm going in. <laughs> Watch out for the family of banjo frogs down there. <laughs> oh, wow. Don't bank your head. Oh, yeah. This is where they would have kept the pigs. Can I shut, shut him in? <laughs> Alright, that's interesting. I'm coming out. I'm pointing it out. Oh. Yeah, I'm free. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, that's fantastic. Thank you very much. <laughs> Wonderful. Lovely. Now, where's this? Howie, the, the, the letter that keeps oh, falling. Oh, yes. This is the letter that keeps falling off the gate. All right. Oh, it's a big letter. Oh, yeah. So. So, it was welded there. You welded it on. And it keeps, you come out and it's. Three times. That's a bit scary, isn't it? <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> the speedo is just about to tick over 500,000 kilometres. It's just gone 499999, whatever, you know. And uh, we're going to pull over and um, and uh, have a shot of that. 500,000 k's on the clock of the, uh, the old bullet. That's a landmark. And here we are, we're doing a road trip to celebrate, I guess, you know. There we go. We just clicked over. Hang on. There we go.
500,000 k's. Have a look at that, will you? It's gone over quite neatly. Sometimes the numbers don't uh, quite jump over the same. So uh, that's fantastic. My question is, and I said that to Kerry before, I wonder where this car will be when it clicks over um, a, a million k's. So uh, that's an interesting question, isn't it? So We've just clicked over 500,000 k's on the bullet. Uh, we're heading up to Wodonga today to stay up there on our little road trip to celebrate the half a million kilometers in the bullet. So there we go, half a million k's in the bullet, on the road, doing a road trip. Doesn't get better than that. All right, let's keep going, let's go. Monday morning, we're just here at my buddy's farm in Wamagama. It's a beautiful day here. We're heading up to Gosford now, so uh, Let's get on the road. In a town called Holbrook, which is just north of Wormagma. This is where I used to go to school over here uh, for the uh, Holbrook Central High School. And behind us we have the HMAS Otway, which was uh, captained by Captain Holbrook. We're just out of Holbrook, just north of Wormagama. Condon's Castle over here behind me because Len Condon built that. He had the service station here and uh, that was his castle. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> All right, let's get going. And this is what is left of uh, the service station. It's a stunning day. Uh, I mean, look at that. Have a look at the front there at the... Uh, Just out of Gundagai, we're north of Gundagai, we're at the, uh, the old Dog on the Tucker Box, which is the Banjo Patterson poem that he wrote about. It's the dog sitting on the Tucker Box for the swaggy. So uh, there it is, right there. Let's go and have a look. We're in Jugiong at the Long Track Cafe and Pantry. They've got a, a wine cellar here and uh, a nice cafe over there. We're gonna pop in and have a cup of coffee. So let's go and have a look in the art gallery too, all right? Ciao. How's this for a spot? It's on Lake Macquarie, just north of Sydney, and we logged here last night, and look at the fantastic spot we've got. Couldn't be much better than that. There's fish jumping, there's swans all having a bath in the morning. It's all happening here. Lake Macquarie. Beautiful. And there's the highway just there, it's okay. And we're heading up to uh, the Commodore shop this morning to see Darren Lindsay and uh, say they do a bit of bonnet surfing, so uh, let's get on the road. It's going to be a beautiful day. Let's go. Okay, we're here at the Commodore shop. We're going to go and see Darren Lindsay and uh, say good day. So let's go in and find Darren. G'day Darren. G'day, how's it going? Brendan, how are you mate? Uh, good to meet you finally. We finally made it here. <laughs> So, uh, there's the bullet out the front. Want to go and have a look? Hell yeah. Okay, let's go and have a look. I wouldn't get rid of it. Yeah, we'll get you to sign the bonnet. Okay. Drop yeah, it. the bird shit. Yep. <laughs> yep, Perfect. at half. Half all right. And here I am scavenging a part off one of uh, the VNs in the yard for the seat belt that uh, Kerry broke yesterday, but she's not admitting to that. Um, but we can't mention that, by the way. He just broke yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Darren, thank you very much. Nice, uh, nice to meet you at last, and thank you for supporting. Yeah, yep. for supporting us and the Commodore, and uh, we'll be in touch. I hope so. We're off on more adventures. So see you later. Bye. Bye.